perfect day they would involve all of the people that I love and that mean something to me. My perfect day is to be an Elizabethan lady to see what it was like for a day. So my perfect day is truck racing at Brad's Hatch. One of my perfect days is when I go to the Ashmolean in Oxford. My perfect day would be to ride at the Horse of the Year show at the NEC. Probably sitting by a, a lake somewhere very quiet with no signs of human habitation and spending your day fishing and reading a book. My perfect day would be to get up one Saturday morning and go to Camden Lock Market. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> There's been some really good intergenerational work and community work that's been happening in Worcestershire and Worcester for a long time. With this project, the aim is for the older and the younger volunteers to come together to support each other as a natural development from the project work they're involved in. And as long as it has a, a community benefit, then people can take part and show that it also, irrespective of your age, you can become a volunteer. And that can take many forms. This week we're painting tiles and they're going to be shown at Worcester Arts Festival. If you dip it once you get the same size spots, or if you keep moving you get different size spots. Well basically the idea is that we'll get intergeneration, that's young people up to 25 and then older people, 50 plus, to get together to discuss our perfect day and more importantly we're going to paint each other's perfect day and of course that means we have to talk about it, uh, discuss how to do it, um, but enjoy it. She has no idea what we're all about. Do. Most people when they think of teenagers think we're going to be trouble. I was sat on a bench eating fish and chips in Droitwich and this woman walked past me, saw I was on my own and she moved her kids to the other side of me just out of instinct so working with someone who's older who trusts us is quite different from what's normal and it's nice to like hear other people's stories I mean Beryl who I've just been working with has had her 50th wedding anniversary recently and the only people I know who've been married that long are my grandparents so it's nice to meet people who have different life stories to mine. The relationship I had with the person I was working with I think was quite jovial. <laughs> I'm probably old enough to be his grandmother but we had quite a laugh. So this has been an ideal opportunity that we can get together and enjoy each other's company, share each other's ideas and then at the end produce something that we're really happy with. We decided as a group that the theme would be Passport to My Perfect Day. So basically we've created this huge big folder and it's like passport style. And then each day shows different people's idea of what their passport to their perfect day would be. The project My Perfect Day I think has been a really wonderful experience and a nice way of getting young people and older people to interact and get to know each other really as a, a way of just um, jamming with the community. Intergenerational work is important because it really does address issues in local communities I think. It's about breaking down barriers and it's about bringing them together with a common aim or objective so it makes more of a cohesive community at the end of the day. I think it gets rid of the fear as well because the older people might think well hang on a minute you know they're not that bad after all they may not be like thinking oh my god there's a young person walking past me are they going to attack me and things like that. So yeah it definitely brings the community together. During the course of the project I uh, managed to learn how to knit a whole row of knitting which was a new experience because I've never tried it before so that was a thing and I loved all the laughs we got out of the project. You knew you thoroughly enjoyed it and the group had enjoyed the time with each other. This project is working with some of the residents from Worcester Community Housing as well as some students from Worcester Tech College who want a job path course. We've had some volunteers from the Worcester Camera Club and also we've had um, some people that have just come in, they saw the workshops advertised in the library, so there's just people from the community as well. 
The group that I've worked with on this project, a group of students with learning difficulties, 16 of them aged from 17 up to about 30. One of the reasons I got excited about the project was that it was overcoming barriers, working with people of a different age and generation. And for themselves, they've developed confidence that they can go and talk to complete strangers develop something marvellous and create something out of that. So we've come up with five very different projects. We've been doing about Australia from my group and then we've done a pampering session, going out for a meal and we've done a disco. My perfect day was about shopping, so I put the shopping involved with Australia and it's come out very good. And we have to take pictures and we have to zoom in and out. And now if I go to a job, then they'll think, well, you're like really good for this job because you've got involved with other people around the community. As you get older, your circle of friends tends to become more restricted. And it was quite nice to be with some young people. And I found that very fulfilling and interesting and sort of knocked a few assumptions out of me as, as well as possibly them. It, it was very good talking and working with people where age or background wasn't particularly a question or problem. Having the camera group volunteers has been great because they've, they've brought, as well as bringing expertise and uh, enthusiasm, they've also brought some kit along and that's really helped us to, to work with five different groups, five quite large groups at, at once. So I think there's been quite a transfer of skills between the two groups so I'm hoping that the volunteers also took something away that the students could bring to it. An image brings people together and it gives people a sense of creativity and I think it's good for personal health and well-being uh, to have these little pockets of structure that occur at uh, fairly regular intervals and I've got an immense amount of pleasure from that. I've enjoyed it and I think I feel better as a result of it. This project is a collaboration between the Sixth Form Art Department and Roland Rutter Day Centre. What happened with the project was it brought together intergenerational learning particularly in the areas of knitting and embroidery from the older volunteers and Photoshop and image manipulation from the younger volunteers. I've been working with Edward, who's been fantastic really, because he's given a lot of ideas about his idea of Perfect Day. So I've worked with those and he's written stories. The one which we've used in question, which is the Enchanted Cottage. And he's drawn lots of pictures, one of them being the cottage. And we've created a mixed media piece of art inspired by Tracy Emin. I've got feedback from people here and it's been quite an enjoyable experience just talking to someone that you don't usually talk to, finding out what their life's been like because they, you know, they've obviously got years ahead of me and they've had that experience. You know, coming here has definitely, you know, helped for me to bridge that gap between the different generations and I, I think it's been a really great project that should definitely happen elsewhere. <music> At school you always get taught about like women's rights and how there weren't a lot in the past but hearing about how a lot of the women here have worked and like the phenomenal jobs they've been through, it gives you a different perspective. A lot of the people here you wouldn't expect the stories that you hear from them just by what you see at the time. It's taught me to actually get to know people before I judge them. I didn't have a cliché perception of old people but I had never really engaged with them, so this was a good learning curve for that. My history has just improved leaps and bounds being in this project. I think the beauty of volunteering and this particular project has been that it has challenged people's perceptions, not only of other people and different generations, but of themselves. Becoming a volunteer cost me nothing at all, and I've got so much fun out of it. I'm just buzzing all the time, thinking of things I want to do. I'm much happier myself, I've lost weight, and it's just given me so much confidence. It's enabled people to realise that they have got that potential within them, they just need the right opportunity to open it up really. I feel like I grew self-confidence just talking to people that I've never met before. I think it's broadened my awareness that young people now aren't a separate species, they're just people, and I think we've all related as people. I think that's all to be good. We've got lots from this project and, and I think one of the, the fantastic things has been the young people teaching older volunteers about artists such as Tracy Emin and older volunteers 
teaching young people about that whole make do and mend philosophy and about how that really is current and really is appropriate for our life at the moment. I mean, not only do we have a fantastic piece of artwork at the end, but I definitely think it's the relationships that have been built along the way. I think it's just been a really good way of mixing social groups. The theme for my perfect day really worked in bringing the young and the old together. Because we don't interact with different generations, we miss out on such a wealth of knowledge, of humour and experiences, and the opportunity to share those with each other. It's been amazing, I can't wait to come back.